Hi guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I thought we would talk about grounding and protecting your own energy um, because we come in contact with so many different people and so many people are in so many different places and they have so much different energy that they're giving off and the only thing that you can do is be responsible for yourself and responsible for keeping yourself grounded and protected and cleared. So I thought we would talk about some of those things today. And personally, um, for me, the best way to do that is completely free. You come outside, um, you can sit on the ground, sit against a tree, just take some deep breaths, take a walk, um, just come out into nature and just be. Leave your phone inside, give yourself five, 10 minutes outside of just fresh sunshine and air, grab a water bottle, and just come outside and just spend time soaking up the sunshine and the wind and just being in nature is the number one way to clear and ground your energy. Um, but yeah, so I thought we'd start the video out here so you can just breathe and take in the sunshine. And um, for me, that is one of the best ways and it's completely 100% free. You don't have to worry about having some oils. You don't have to worry about having a crystal. Um, you don't have to worry about saying anything in particular. You can just come out in nature and be and just let it all go and just not think of anything but just enjoying the trees. Um, you probably heard my chickens and saw one in the background earlier. Um, but yeah, so just being outside and being with the chickens or being with your dog or um, whatever other animals you have, just being with nature and animals can be very clearing and grounding and just be very, very, very helpful for you. So I thought we'd start this video outside so that you could just see what it is that I do. Um, so now I'll take you inside and show you some of the crystals and some of the oils I use because some people do like to have those tangible items to hold. They have like to have like, like I have these new bracelets I just got. So we'll talk about the different crystals and different um, oils I personally have that I use. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you inside. All right, we're back inside to talk about some of the crystals and some of the other oils and different things I also use because some people like to have like I'm someone who is tangible I like to have tangible items some of these items are pricey a lot of them are not again you don't need any of this it's these are just the little extras the little zhuzhs that some people like um the first and foremost is sage this one is well loved um this is just the sage bundle I got from a local girl um it also has some lavender in it just to help with the smell um, some people don't like the sell, smell of sage, but um, it's got many, many benefits. So I did pull up. Um, burning sage is one of the oldest, purest methods of cleansing a person or group of people or space, of cleansing a person, people or space to get rid of unwanted energies. So burning sage. And it's always important if you're burning sage or paleo santo to have like something that is um, fire resistant. So I use this shell um, or it could be a dish. It doesn't have to be fancy like this. Um, these kits are pretty easy to get together, the three of them together. Some kits will even come with a, um, a cellulite stick and some even with um, black tourmaline. So these are like the little four basics for cleansing your energy, cleansing your space. So, um, so you would just burn. I'm gonna burn the paleo because I like the really, I really like the scent of that. So you just kind of get a good flame going on it. Some people like the smell of this a lot better. So you just get like a little smoke going. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. This is a big chunk. The smaller chunks are a little easier to get flaming. So you can see just the smoke and you would just 
kind of do one of these numbers all around you or go around your space like this and just get it. it smells really good. So Paleo Santo um, has a pleasant uplifting scent. Um, it repels unwanted insects and pests. So it does, is supposed to help with mosquitoes. Um, it clears bad energy, facilitates meditation, raises your vibration and spiritual awareness, and it also helps with um, protection, spiritually speaking. So the two of these together are a really good combo. So you, um, some people sell the sticks together, some people sell them as a kit, but yeah. So just those two together are a, always a favorite of mine. The cellulite sticks, um, I do have one of these on almost every, almost every window sill in my house. Um, so some of the properties of cellulite is it's known for bringing peace, tranquility, cleansing, protection, and angelic connection. But really it's just, um, I like it for just like bringing peace to the environment. And then black tourmaline is um, protection from negative energy and intentions, clearing the aura, grounding, and balance. So these two together, um, I have these two together in all four points of my house. So like each corner of my house, I have these just as a, like a little protection grid. And then, um, yeah, you can, um, I like to carry smaller pieces of these two together in my purse, in my pocket, just to have as a little just keeping energies away. Cause some people like the physical tangible items. You can also get bracelets. So like this bracelet here, I just got it. It is black tourmaline and smoky quartz. I also have this big chunk of smoky quartz that I showed you in my last video. But so smoky quartz um, helps cleanse the aura of negativity, calming anxiety, um, and it helps you get your life in order. But it's also a good grounding and protection um, crystal worn together. So it's really nice that I was able to find a bracelet with the two of them together. So another thing that I've recently started um, using before I go to work, especially since I work with a lot of people and I do energy healing and energy work and hold space for people for energy work, um, is this um, spiritual protection spray from Amanda Ellis. I put her link in the last video. I can put the link in this video. So this is another good protective spray. Um, she also has um, all the chakra sprays um, and then the grounding spray. So this is the grounding spray from my friend, um, M Melissa, sorry, <laughs> I'm zoning out here. Too much crystal energy here. So this is her chakra grounding um, spray. So you would just take these um, I just take my glasses off so I don't get the essential oils on and just spray it around your head. And just deep breaths in, letting the oil, like letting it come into your head, um, into your nose, I guess into your head. Um, but it's just a, um, so yeah. So it says spray over your head and eyes, close your eyes and inhale three deep breaths or mist over your heart space. Enhances spirituality integrates the emotional, physical, and mental and energetic bodies, grounds the physical body into the earth and fortifies the will to live calm and, and balanced in nature. And then there's also like earth star chakra spray, which is even below the root chakra. So that's like grounding way down into earth, which is another good one. This is another grounding oil I have um, that I use with clients. Um, any, any, really any uplifting essential oils are just good to have around. These are the ones I diffuse currently down in my diffusers downstairs, but any oils that you have that just help you get grounded, help you uplift your energy, um, just stay protected. So black opal is, um, another spiritual protecting stone. This is a palm stone. It's a little heavy to carry in your pocket all the time. And I mean, you could put it in your purse, but it's great for meditation. Um, and then of course we have like the Tibetan singing bowl, which is another good grounding, getting into your space.
So that's another good grounding. Um, and grounding is just a great way to stay in your body, to keep yourself protected. Um, but yeah, so this video is probably not very long. Um, I do have some cards. I thought I'd draw a card for us today. That'll probably be something I do in all my videos just because I love drawing cards. Um, and they're a good tool. All of these are tools. You don't need any of them. You don't need any of them on your spiritual journey. You can just go out in nature. You can go find a creek. If you don't have a creek near your house, don't have trees near your house, just go outside and sit on the dirt. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can go out, if you don't want to sit on the dirt, go outside in a chair and take your feet off and put them on the dirt, on the ground and just sit there and let, like, let the energy of the earth, like you and the earth, um, you know, just absorb the energy of the earth. It doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. So, these are the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, they're really cool looking cards. This is what the back of the card looks like. And the card today was swan, which is about grace. You who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me wisdom and light. Bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So to me, what grace means and what I've learned over the last year, of what grace really means to me and what this is saying to me is like, give yourself grace you don't have to have it all figured out you don't have to um, be perfect every day but give yourself grace and know that um, just take some deep breaths take a little calming energy and just let that calm energy transform your mood you could be having a horrible day and just take some deep breaths like um, we'll do this and we'll do it in a moment we'll do some deep breathing together but just know that it can help you transform just by giving yourself like don't be so hard on yourself there's enough people out there that are gonna be hard on you that you don't need to be your own worst critic I'm guilty of it too um, but yeah I just love that you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So, what I want you to do now is get yourself in a seated position and we're just gonna do some, it's called boxed breathing. So we're just gonna do some deep breaths to ground into your body together. We'll probably do, I don't know, six rounds of these, three to six rounds. I like threes. Um, so get yourself comfortable, close your eyes or lower your gaze. Um, I sprayed the grounding spray, so I'm gonna spray it again just over the space so that I'm sending you the energy of it. So start with, we're gonna do deep breath in through the nose for the count of four already. Deep breath in for four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, one, and in for four, three, two, one, and out for three, two, one. And hold for three, two, one, and in for three, two, one, and hold at the top. Three, two, one, and out. Three, two, one. Did you notice how quickly you calmed down? How quickly your fight or flight went away. So anytime you're feeling stressed out, you can do that. Um, anytime you just need to get back into nature, I encourage you to take five to 10 minutes every day 
to do that, most people can find five or 10 minutes a day to prioritize your mental well-being, your spiritual well-being, and your physical well-being by just getting outside, taking some deep breaths, and just calming down your nervous system. Right now we're heightened with bombarded with information and bombarded with people's opinions about things right now and I encourage you to just turn that all off for five to ten minutes a day and just be in nature just be and you can take your crystals outside you can take your oils outside you can get you a singing bowl and take that outside or you can just go outside and sit get a glass of water put a lemon in it or just get a glass of water Get a, get a nice tea, get whatever makes you feel good, and go outside and just relax and enjoy a moment of just being. So I hope that this was some useful information for you. So I was reviewing the video and realized that I left out the number one thing you can do to protect your energy. And that is to ask God, Source, your higher power, your angels, the Ascended Masters, your ancestors, whoever it is, to just protect your energy, to help you keep your energy, your energy, and to help keep people that you're around their energy. You can also, some people like to envision themselves in like a big bubble or just a, a orb of white light or picture they have mirrors on them. Then so whatever energy is coming towards them just bounces right off and goes back out into the space. But the number one thing you can do is just say protection prayer, saying, please just help me keep my energy, my energy, and help them keep their energy, their energy. It can be much more in depth than that, but something as easy as just let them keep their energy, let me keep my energy, let me be surrounded in white, protective light is another great thing you can just say to yourself before you go into an environment where you can't control other people's energies but you can control yours and you can control what you absorb so that is another wonderful thing you can do so yeah so I just thought I'd tack that little tidbit here on the end and if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and I will try to get you another video out here soon if you have any topics you want me to cover any questions um, I will put my email below, but intuitively lead um, at gmail.com is the email you can reach me at. Again, that's intuitively lead, L E A D. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. Namaste.